to Chippy United by one goal to nil. The pressure cooker, William Shongwe, out in the park, standing with Bali, back from a very successful African Cup of Nations competition, back from suspension as well. We'll go through the team sheets for you in a little while. But, uh, yeah, really a crunch match here today. I just want to leave you with one little statistic uh, to start the match with, and that's that uh, Chip United haven't beaten TX Galaxy in 1,100 and 83 days. The last time they beat uh, Chippy United was uh, here in Mbompela and Sabiumba scoring a goal on the 17th of January 2021. It switches on the afterburners. First time ball. Wurkovic hits the crossbar. Unfortunate for the Serbian. Forgot to mention him amongst the foreign born players today. Functioning. He understands. As it's in every time when is in that position. He always adjusts himself to free himself from the pressure. But this time around, it's Mochella with the cross. And it's found on Mark, on the volley, on the turn. That's a beauty. Except for that, it kisses the, the crossbar back into the field. Nobali beating hands down. Mochella in the meantime, there's danger here. Not anymore, there isn't. He's done a lot of work this afternoon already in the opening 28 minutes as the Nigerian goalkeeper. It's Mochella once again with that cross. As we look into this volley again, it's a beauty of a volley. Long throw from Chippy United. They get the good flick on as well. Everin Scores for Chippy United. Three goals in three matches now. Chippy United against the run of play, go in front in Mbompela. And the Cameroonian is absolutely delighted. Yeah, from a, a team that has kept a fine three sheets in the last five games, this Galaxy will uh, blame themselves defensively for not uh, keep staying, keeping track with Evanga. I mean, it's a straight from the corner. And they just need to be a little bit tighter not to give him that much space. In fact, they tried their best, but he still used his body very well to just get a flick of the ball that gets Ntwari off his line. It's a great goal, nonetheless. Great goal. And I would have said maybe he needed to use a little bit of footwork to get himself a little bit closer to the ball. He did that and still got beaten Ntwari. Flick on from Evenka! Could be danger here, cleared off the line by Sonoka. Very, very nearly Konkobe and Kwaiba orchestrating a second goal for Chippet before half time. There are injuries there. Twadi certainly has an injury. Kwaiba, I think, is the player down. Sinokola Kwaiba is down. Yeah, he collided with the goalkeeper as um, Twadi came to try and uh, block. In fact, I thought it was Ntwari who was going to be more injured because there was a whole start showing from Kwaiba that could easily have landed into his tummy. Bad drama in the first half. We've had missed opportunities from one side. Creativity and scored goalkeeper. Nurkiewicz, unselfish. And Velasquez missed another one. He was on the money. He anticipated that uh, Lokovic might head it backwards, and he duly did, but he seems to lunge forward a little bit with his uh, upper body weight a little bit backwards. Very poor finish. Maybe Lokovic should have gone for goal, for glory himself. The angle was a little bit tight, but you just never know. That's a handball from Sergio Kamis. Yes. There was one earlier. Yep, absolutely. And uh, this one just uh, confirmed. One from Kambindu and then Kamis. Yep, there's a handball and there's another one. So there's the three handballs in the space of a bounce of a ball. Hmm. And rightly so, the referee points to the penalty spot. Now there's no Nurkovic to take a penalty, maybe Mbunjana. And uh, in the meantime, Kambindu, beg your pardon, not Kambindu, Stanley Mopali's playing games here because immediately the penalty was given. He walked off to the halfway line <laughs> and uh, had a chat to his coach and grabbed a drink of water. Unbelievable. 
he's he's had a very quiet second half. <laughs> yes, yeah, too. Maybe he's be called upon to make an impact of his own by coming up with a big save here. Well, he's just a knocker. The responsibility is the captain of TX Galaxy, the former Orbit College, Mansburg United centre back. He used to play as the fullback. TX Galaxy's hopes ride upon this penalty. And Wabali is a massive figure, he's got a massive stature. And he makes a great save! Double intervention from Stanwin Wabali. And once again, the TX Galaxy supporters. Are disappointed it's a really really good save that's a brilliant from the save. big man because what sanuga did very well he put all the power that he had except for that maybe it was the right height for the goalkeeper to make a save brilliant there was no doubt about the call yeah it's a good save But I don't think also I thought initially he put his whole might into that shot, but he seemed to fumble it a little bit. Look at how it takes a dip before it bounces off into the goal. Can't convert a penalty. TS Galaxy miss a chance to send the match into extra time. Penalty to TX to Chippe in the meantime. Oi, oi, oi. I'm not too sure about that call, but uh, it's been granted Quinda the man in the middle of the park immediately points to the spot and yeah I say Dramovich can't believe it but as soon as the penalty was awarded he rushed off to the bench it's one of those days for TX Galaxy isn't it Siema unable to clear hmm, did he catch him yes the match have been slightest of contact but did it warrant? Oh, yeah, yeah, Definitely. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a penalty. Mm. Obstructed him from running or continuing with his run. So if United can put this thing to bed, Roscoe Peterson will take the penalty. Can Fiacre and Tuari come up with the heroics that we saw from Stan Winrapali just seconds ago? I want to go back to the context of how the match, how the goals were scored tonight. When this is completed, the penalty that is, because we have stoppage time still remaining. And don't forget the draw for the semi-finals and the announcement of the stadium for the final. Peterson has not scored this season so far. He misses the next match against Super Sports United because of suspension. So P United is no doubt now, surely, will play in the semi-finals of the Nedbank Cup. Huge, huge, huge celebrations between October, September, Morgan Mamila and the traveling supporters. William, I just want to go back to the missed opportunities. And the goals that came from Chippy United. Nurkovic off the crossbar. Evan Gar scores. Missed penalty for Sonoka. Penalty for Chippy United. And they score. It's been one of those matches. As it often said, you miss your chances, you get punished. And yep. this is just one clear example of that. Uh, let's say, calm and collected is Rusko to find the back of the net, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way.